and this huge 600 star production group heads into turn number one. Oh, don't turn away from this. This is going to get quite exciting. Well, they're going to get through in turn number one in okay shape. And they're going through their three and four breaths. Some of them are knocking handlebars together, but they all get through in pretty good shape. They all hit around turn number two as they work up the speeds now. And there goes the second wave, and this is the 450 production class. starting to pull it out over the rest of them. Well, we've got about a 10-rider duel for second place, 105 miles an hour. As they come out of turn number nine, we'll pick up some of the leaders for you as they come by to complete lap number one, seven laps to go. We've got eight lap races the rest of the day. on that first lap. Is bike number 301 on the second lap coming by out in front. And that is uh, Jeff Hoffner leading the race. In second spot is bike number 405, Greg Beecher, but he was leading the first lap around. He's on a Yamaha. Then in third spot was uh, one of your favorites, 452, Steve Cordillo on the Yamaha. And then right after him was 715, and that was Louis Sarze on a Honda. He was running in fourth. And a fifth spot, bike number 216. And I can't pick up 216. I don't don't quite have a number on or a name for 216. I don't even have a number for 216. Now, going to turn number eight, and look at this. He's still got four riders that can take this race. And one of the favorites in the past, Sarzi, starting to come on now. Look at this race coming out of turn number nine. Oh, riding off hard in turn number nine, kicking up some dust. In second spot was uh, zero four, that's Craig Beecher uh, running in second. Three zero one in front was uh, is Jeff Hopner still leading. Hopner on in front. Beecher running in second spot. In third spot is still Cordillo. In fourth spot one sixteen, and that is. Uh, 
That is Art Kawaguchi on the Honda, so he's starting to move up a little bit. He's up in the fourth spot now. And, of course, we're still keeping one eye out over there in that horrendous accident over there in turn number nine that kicked up all the dust. That's the fourth spot. In fifth spot, 134. Bike number 134 now moving up into fifth. And that is uh, Chris Grabau on a Honda. And then running a sixth spot, bike number 208. Not having a good outing at all this time out. The Bakersfield rider, David Neal, the first-year rider of the rookie. through the race and it's still out in front 301 that is Hopner and doing an incredible job out there Jeff Hopner out in front 405 running a second Craig Beecher running a third spot Cardillo and in fourth spot 116 and that is Art Kawaguchi that's Ed, Ed Kawaguchi's uh, brother Art and Ed uh, dueling it out there when, and when Eddie went down over there in turn number nine and uh, 9.36. The Toyota, little Toyota Tower to see uh, Carol Smith immediately, please. It's an emergency. One, and Cordillo cuts him off. And Cordillo now takes over the lead. The San Bernardino rider on that. Uh, he's now over 301, Jeff Hopner. We have 750 stock production up to the pre-grid, please. 750 stock production up to the pre-grid.
750 stock production up to the free grid, please. The 750 stock production up to the free grid. This is the race that has the Suzuki contingency money involved. Out in front is still in this race. It's still Cardillo out in front. We understand now it's Hop instead of Hopner. He said it was Hepner, and somebody just came up and said now his name is Hogbo. So now I don't know what to call him, but it's hot. It's going to be a bit. 116, Art Kawaguchi on the Honda, still running there in fourth. And in fifth spot, 208, that's your rookie, David Neal. Chris, you? There's the finish. Oh, it was close. Cordillo and Hopner, and I don't know who got it. It was really close. We're going to have to go down and uh, and check with the starter for the uh, finish of that race. Because of me, I'd give it to uh, Hopner, but we're going to check on their starter and see who got it.